Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zones. It's Michelle from Crafts Me and More. How are you today? Welcome to our yarn review on Stitch Studio by Nicole's Anatones. This was a gift, and I know it's distributed by um, AC and More, but they're not around anymore, to the best of my knowledge. Anywho, we're just going to read out what the label says. So it's a deep, rich colour. Now this colourway is teal. It's perfect for projects made with love. Working with this yarn and the beautiful natural colours will give you a sense of companionship with its nature and tranquility. Enjoy and inspire with every stitch. Now behind me, you can see the cushion that I made out of this. It's not very clear in this camera. The colour is a little bit wonky donkey. So I will put a picture up. Picture. Okay, so here is the cushion made out of the yarn that we are doing today, this Stitch Studio by Nicole Earth Tones. So that's what it looks like when it's made up. We might just leave that sitting there to be honest. I think it makes a little nice screenshot. So this is a 95% acrylic and a 5% viscose. Um, it is a medium four weight, which I agree with. Uh, it is a machine wash warm, do not bleach, and it can be tumble dried, which is pretty good for a cushion, which is why I made a cushion out of it. So, as I said, this is colour weight teal, and it is um, yeah, actually really, really nice. I'm just going to leave that. Let me just position things to make them all more pretty and more cool to see. They're just holding the, the actual yarn band. So we're just going to do a couple right there. I know, as I said, I've made a cushion with it, but I just like to do this when I'm making a, um, what am going to do? We're actually going to do, this time we're going to do chains. No, we're going to do a magic circle. Well, I can make up my mind what I want to do, then we'll start stitching with this, and I'll show you how easy this actually works. So we're still a magic circle, and we're going to do... Um, single crochets into the magic circle. No, not like that. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm going to get my hands underneath here because I'm not used to working with my phone as our main camera. I usually use the camera that I'm using for my webcam at the moment. I can't seem to get the cover right on it at the moment, so we're, we are what we are. See, so yeah, it just works up beautifully, so we're just going to stitch this together. Make sure it actually cinches so it all the stitches sit nicely inside the magic circle. Like so. And then we are going to do another round. So we're just going to go one and then an increase just to make it a little bit bigger. But see how it just glides in and out. What oh, you can't see. Let's try that so it just glides. Relatively um, effortless is really what I would call this one. It, I don't like floppy yarns, so it took a long time for me to get used to the the tweedy bits in it that stick out. And I'm very much a person that likes to pluck them off so everything runs smooth. But I know you can't do that. Um, it defeats the purpose. So we might just do a row uh, around of double crochets and that will be just about it for this review. I enjoyed working with it. I'm not sure where we can get it anymore. I don't live in the US so I got it as a gift um, in a giveaway. So yeah, I, just, I don't know but it is really nice and I'm glad I at least got to work with it once. So if we just do double crochets all the way around and you can get a look at a higher stitches in this pattern. I just need to remember keep my hands here. This can take some practice. We'll just work our way around with these double crochets. My tension's a little bit off because my arms are in an awkward position, um, which I need to remember. This is not as good as doing it the other way around for me. I'm doing a little bit too much movement for the camera, I think half the problem. So 
them I have to pick some motion sensors up I'm just but anyway this will be our last stitch so that is our our little stitch by the studio and by Nicole and we just stitch that circle a little bit more and then we'll be able to easily undo this one it easily comes undone until you get to the tweety bit, so you can get a little bit cool, but you can just manipulate them and it will work. So there we go. That is a thumbs up for me. Can you see? Thumbs up. I love this yarn. I would buy it again. I would use it again. I enjoyed the cushion that I made over there. But you can see. I hope you enjoy this product review. And until next time, hooray.